Hello everyone, in the previous video you have watched my setting up and installation with JSOP library. So now I will go through the, our coding and you can find any website or web page as one and this one I use the same website in the PHP and I also use this website and this just education only so you have to copy this copy this URL and declare the document to store the HTML jsoup.connect string URL okay times out you can set it by yourself or by default is 3 seconds 6000 it means 6 seconds Okay, we need to throw try catch through um, elements in the package JSOP. Okay, this is a CS query. So let me go to what is my target is this one. I will get this text. I mean method window and image URL. They have a three. The first method second like here i will get this so there are many but many element is the same the same thing so i will start from here i will use this this is a whole one the container that cover this area so i will use this actually this is the id and its tag is div so I will use div to specify id u sharp sign so there are so many elements in when I get this there are many element elements so if we start over here and I will find out the text method so I just for each to look through the through the element that I have set so we use this elements this is one because if one goes through the object of this element this is one object is many so I would like to go one by one play step from the body and I will declare a string new string I use method to store that uh, okay this is the same thing cs query okay we use this okay this i get this class i also can use this but i want to use this because this a container i mean cover this area and this area and this image too and i will use it later so I use this class. Make sure your class is not duplicate your target. Step and then I call this one alt block. So it's in the X3 and do class alt block. So I use X3 in do class alt block. Okay. Use text. It means we return the string, the plan text in here. Here, this is plan text number one, and the main thought. It will return this. Okay, run it. Okay, method one and method two. There are three method. Okay, let's move more. I use I will get title. We practice the same thing. So title, this one. Okay, is in the div class album two. So pretty similar div. Okay, and if you have line here. Okay, we will get. Just copy and paste. I will get a title and after that I will go 
I will go through the image. In this section, in this method, there are many image consist in this element. So I have to loop more to get this URL. I use for each again, and I will get it. I will declare it as ing, and we get from the step. Get a step. Let me check together. Okay, is in here so I will get this one section text okay or you can put this and find the image where is the image it's in li so I will go to this one image I skip the other class but if you do ask me it's not accuracy you can go one by one right like here select tag and this one is accuracy then but I just demonstrate only this step and we get this so IMG that have attribute data SOC because I want to get this URL copy it it has attribute so attribute I will get it in the next because they will return as a string so I cannot use in here I declare a new IMG URL or ng and we print it off get url ng url and I will separate this let's check together it's just too messy can get a url this one is not accuracy you can see here yeah, just sometimes get because sometimes the class is the same because class has many many elements can use it if the ID is have only one you can use ID but because of there are many I made so we use class because they use the same class we can go through by for each loop easily it's just de my demonstrate and I will put this source this code this source code in the, in the description so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like my video thank you for watching